Hi, my name is Audrey Luby and welcome to the Fish Sounds website. This guide is meant to give you a brief overview and tour of what all our website has to offer. We have compiled three main types of data as part of the website work. The first is based on a complete systematized review of published examinations of a fish species for sound production. We have the citation information for each reference, and then for each fish species examined for sound production in each reference, we have basic information on the general type of examination conducted, whether the fish produced active or intentional sounds, or some type of passive or incidental sound, and whether authors expressed doubt about their findings. This is the most complete type of data we have compiled, and it will be updated with new website versions to continue to add any literature published the previous year, or to account for any references that are currently missing from our database. The second category is made up of individual sound recordings generously donated to us by researchers or through connections to other sound libraries. We will be continuously working to augment our library of sound recordings as we receive donations. Finally, we are also going back through all the references we have compiled when we have the time or resources to do so to collect acoustic characteristics of fish sounds or additional information about the sound production, such as the behavior associated with sound production or whether diagrams of the sound like a spectrogram were included in the reference. In addition to these three types of data that we have gathered, we also have access to general information on the fish species, such as their taxonomic information or the region they are found in, courtesy of fish base and other resources. All of our data are connected through various relationships in the website infrastructure and database we have compiled. The data are then used to create searches for users of the website based on fish species, sound recordings, and reference. With that, on to the website itself. On our homepage, you'll find some helpful links to information pages and websites, a randomly generated highlighted species, some fun numbers about the website, and links to other websites that might be of interest. Finally, you can also find our video tour of the website. A PDF of the video, including all the slides and a transcript of the voiceover is also provided for download. To begin searching the website, you will find three options if you click on the search button found at the top of every page. If you click on fish species, you will be taken to our fish species search page. Here you'll be able to search by fish species to see if they have records in our data set and pull records based on taxonomic or other information. The results can also be sorted differently based on your needs. Once you have found a species you are interested in, you can click on it for more information. This will take you to an overview of the information we have on the species broken up into three drop-down tabs. Let's look at what we have for the street gurnard. In the Species Description tab, which will be automatically open when you get to the species page, you will find various information on the species taxonomy and distribution as listed on FishBase, with a link to its species page on FishBase. In the Sound Recordings tab, you will find any recordings we have for the species along with associated references, a generated spectrogram image of the recording, and a link to additional details about the recording. In the References tab, you can see any records in the literature where the species was studied and some basic information that was reported in the reference. A question mark in one of these means that there was doubt or uncertainty reported by the authors about the data category. For example, if the authors only tentatively ID'd the species that made the sound, then there would be a question mark next to species identified instead of a checkmark. In addition to searching by species, you can search through the literature by clicking on the Research Summaries search button at the top of every page. Here you'll be able to search and sort all the references that we have available on our website. If you click on one, then that will take you to more details about the reference and the examinations that were published in it. Here are the reference details for this wonderfully titled journal article on the streaked Gernard. On the left, there is all the citation information that was available, as well as a button to copy the information. Here is all the basic information that was available on the Street Gernard species page. Then, when available, there will also be additional information on the sound production reported in the reference. You can also view what recordings are associated with the reference when applicable. Finally, in addition to searching by species and research summary, you can search through the recordings by clicking on the sound recording search button at the top of every page. 
Here you'll be able to search and sort recordings that we have available on our website. Some of our recordings are hosted by Fish Sounds thanks to the generous donations of our contributors. Others are merely linked to on other websites like the Macaulay Library. Where possible, we will provide a visualization of the recording, though we do not have permission to do so for every recording. You can listen to the Fish Sounds recordings provided by clicking on the play button or click on the link for the external recordings to learn more. Recordings are grouped by species and sound name, so when we have multiple recordings for the same sound name and species, you can look through the different recordings with the arrow buttons. Clicking on the View Details button will take you to a page with additional details on the sound produced by the species. Here's the recording page for the growl of the street gurnard. Our recordings can be considered a representative example of the sound produced. Please also be sure to check out our About Fish Sounds page found under the Learn More button at the top of every page. Here you can find out more about our data, including definitions and our version history. We also provide a link to our Borealis Permanent Data Repository, where all the versions of our data sets and more detailed data collection methodology can be found. Proper citing of any of the information included on the website is very important to us, so at the bottom of any page or under the Learn More button, you will find a link to a How to Cite page. Here you will find instructions on how to cite the different types of information available on the website. There's a lot of other information, data visualizations, research summaries, and even a Fish Sounds coloring book that you can find on our other website pages, so please feel free to explore all our drop-down menus. And that concludes our brief tour of the Fish Sounds website. We will be continually working to improve and update the website and our data offerings. So if you have any questions, suggestions, concerns, or compliments, please feel free to contact us at fishsoundscontact at gmail.com. We truly hope you will find our website helpful for all your Fish Sounds related endeavors.